Hey, what's up guys? I'm Theo Joe, and as usual, a lot of cool stuff happened in the tech industry this week that you might not have heard about. So I'm gonna go over what I think are the coolest stories of what happened this week. So let's get started. First up, Amazon announced a brand new device called the Echo Look, which expands on their Echo devices line. And this one actually has a camera built into it. So in addition to just doing voice commands, well, you might think, oh, is it like some sort of security camera? No, actually, it's apparently meant to be used for fashion advice. Yeah, so the whole idea is that you would stand in front of this thing and it takes a picture and it somehow uses AI to judge your outfit and then tell you which one to wear and then it would keep a history of your outfits to see what you wore like a week ago or something like that. I don't know if this is something that's gonna be really popular, especially among men. I can't really imagine it. But I don't know, maybe if they allow the camera to be used for other purposes like security, I think it could be cool. And it's not actually out for sale yet. Right now it's invitation only. You go to the product page and you can request an invite to be on the wait list, but there's no real word about when we're gonna be able to get it. And it is $200, so I don't know how many people are really gonna buy this thing. Especially considering that these days, privacy concerns are a big deal. I mean, right now we have all these devices with microphones listening to us 24 seven. Now we have something that's gonna be a camera. I don't know, that could freak a lot of people out. We'll have to see. Next up, speaking of smart home devices, Google recently announced that they're releasing the Google Home SDK, which means that they're allowing developers to now use the Google Home protocol in any type of device, not just a Google Home. So you might start seeing all sorts of different random devices that have a microphone and speaker, and it's now a smart device with the Google AI. They actually talked about one concept device, which is a cocktail mixer powered by Google AI, and I guess the idea is that you could say, hey, make this drink, and it would look it up and know the recipe for it, and then use whatever materials it has and make a drink. So that might be pretty awesome if we can use other devices like a smart mirror, like show me the weather, that sort of thing. I'm pretty excited to see what developers come up with. Moving on, a company called Nightscope has created a 400 pound security robot that looks like an egg or a Dalek or whatever you think it looks like. And the idea is that this thing would be purchased by someone who needs security to patrol a parking lot or something and this thing would walk around automatically and scan the environment. And if it sees something using one of its sensors, it would either alert whoever's monitoring it or set off an alarm or something like that. Some of these sensors include LIDAR, so lasers for determining speed and depth, as well as cameras obviously, and even a Wi-Fi antenna to pick up different Wi-Fi signals to determine how many devices are around it. And if you're wondering how much it costs, it turns out you basically rent this thing from the company for about $7 an hour, which would be somewhere like 60,000 a year. And then that would provide repairs, monitoring, as well as servicing and that sort of thing. But it turns out that these 400 pound robots have one weakness, which is being knocked over because there was a story of one man who was drunk one night and apparently knocked over one of these 400 pound robots and then got arrested because it set off an alarm once it got knocked over. But I guess that means it did do its job because they did catch the guy with it. So if you see one of these things patrolling around, don't mess with it. Next up, this one's about Uber. I know they've had a lot of bad publicity recently, but this time they're claiming that they want to invent flying cars and have them out on the market by 2020. Yes, three years away, they think they're gonna have flying cars that will pick up passengers and be able to fly 100 miles in 40 minutes. They're legitimately seriously claiming this. I don't think that's even possible. They say they're gonna be launching the program in Dallas and Dubai, but I mean, if they can't even get self-driving cars right, then what makes you think they're gonna get flying cars right? Yeah, I'm not holding my breath on that one. Next, this one's about AT&T, who is launching a 5G network in Austin, Texas. The problem is, it's not real 5G. There's been a lot of people calling out AT&T on this new service, saying it's basically fake 5G, and it's just rebranded 4G. 5G cellular service isn't out by any network yet, and it uses a completely new type of technology, 
and it's gonna be many, many times faster than 4G, maybe even in the gigabit range. But AT&T is just claiming this is gonna be about twice as fast as 4G, except when it isn't. This is what their statement says. Forward-looking statements are subject to risk and uncertainties, and actual results may differ materially. So really what they're saying is, yeah, you might get these super high speeds, but if you don't, too bad. Another thing to note is that this new service only works with the Galaxy S8. It doesn't work with any other phone because apparently the Galaxy S8 has some sort of special antenna in there. So I don't think it's completely fake as some people are saying. It probably does have some a little bit newer technology, but I definitely don't think it's able to be called 5G. But this isn't really anything new. I mean, if you guys remember back when there was 3G, all the cell companies started saying we have 4G, even though it wasn't really 4G, and then eventually they actually got 4G. But for a while, they were pretty much just using it as a marketing term, and I think that's what they're doing here. It's gonna be a few years before we get real 5G, but until then, we're gonna have to deal with 5G. All right, moving on, there's been some leaked photos of supposed dummy models of the next iPhone 8. And these, if real, show some interesting new design changes that are pretty major. It includes a dual lens camera on the back and on the front, a edge to edge screen covering up the entire front of the phone. And then supposedly an embedded fingerprint scanner and home button in the screen itself. And other mock-ups have shown that we might finally be getting wireless charging, which is something that's been kind of making me skeptical of getting an iPhone for years now. But if they did add wireless charging, then you know what? I might actually consider switching back to iPhone after using Android for a lot of years, because you know, there are things I like about iPhone. Regardless though, this is obviously not confirmed at all. And apparently Apple tends to do a lot of different prototypes and this could just be one of those. So who knows if these features are gonna end up in the final version. The only way we're gonna know is to wait for that press conference. All right, finally, a funny story about justice. I think you guys are gonna like this. You guys may have known about the big giant music festival last week called Coachella that a lot of people travel in from, from out of town, and apparently a lot of thieves as well because there was one guy who stole over 100 phones at the festival and he got caught because he forgot about find my iPhone feature. So this dummy obviously didn't turn the phones off after he stole it and one of the people just used find my iPhone to get a general idea of where they were and then the police spotted a guy walking around with a backpack and it turns out that he was the one that was stealing all the phones and they got them all back. So this guy wasn't exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. So that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments section as usual. And if you want to keep watching, I'll put some other videos right here. You can just click on those. And if you want to subscribe, I make new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Should be worth it. So of course, as usual guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.